hey guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for coming today so we're in procreate and you want to start with a blank canvas and make sure your color is on black so you want to go into like the settings add text and then you want to type in whatever text that you want to airbrush with and then you want to choose your font. I'm going to leave the font below so you can download it. This is the font that I like to use for most of my airbrush designs if I don't feel like airbrushing out the words. So there you go. So we're going to go ahead with this font. And you want to go ahead and scale the text a little bigger just so you get like a broader range. So you want to go ahead and rasterize the text. Look at me, I messed up. <laughs> But yeah, you want to go ahead and rasterize the text and then you want to duplicate it two times. So then you want to add another layer and you want to pick a color that you would like behind the words, if that makes sense. So you want to go to your airbrush brush with the color that you chose and you want to just airbrush like around the words. So you want to go back to that added layer and then you want to do it as a clipping mask and then you want to, then you want to scale it out. And then you want to go to Glageon Blur. And then you can kind of go by what I'm going by. I did 7%. And then on the next layer, you want to go to like the little three dots with the pen. And then, oops. <laughs> and then you want to make it all white. So since we want to do it all white, let's go ahead and get rid of the background color. And then with the white layer, you want to scale it out. And then we also going to do the Glageon Blur on that layer. So now you're probably like, okay, what next, girl? Like, what are you doing? Okay, but anyway, you want to go to your brush. Well, go add a layer first, and then go to your brush and go to inking. And then you want to do the um, studio pen. So you want to get into like a nice little size, but like not too thin, not too thick. And you want to go and kind of make like these type of like, it is like the white kind of like, it just makes it look like it's more like out there like kind of like when you do graffiti they do these marks like that please don't talk about me i don't know what it's called but you want to make sure you do that part because it's important <laughs> but okay once you're done and you like the way that it looks you can also add like dots and stuff but i didn't do that here you want to go ahead and glossier blur that so what I like to do since we're about to get to like the big airbrushing part, I want to like scale out my canvas size so nothing gets like cut off because that happens a lot. So you want to go ahead and change your canvas size. And then here, um, under the words, you want to go ahead and pick a color you like. And then you want to go to the airbrush again and make sure you made like another layer like I did. And then you want to make sure you got your brush ready and we're just going to do like a little swoop, like literally just do a swoop. And then you want to glossy on blur that. And then on top of that, I want to make another layer, change the color to like white or black. It really don't matter. And then do like some small like swoops at the top and at the bottom and do it until like you like it it all depends nothing has to be perfect with airbrush and that's kind of why i love it so much you can kind of mess around with things and kind of just swoosh here and there but yeah okay now we want to add another layer and we're gonna do like the swooshes under the um angel part so you want to go ahead and make another layer and make sure it's on top of the white swooshes that we did and pick a color whatever color you want to do like a small swoosh under the angel part so here i'm just picking like my colors that i want and sometimes you want it the same as the middle but you know you can switch it out whatever you want to do so go ahead and make your brush size a little smaller and then do like a little swoosh with a little curl do that for the top and the bottom and do it until like you're liking on procreate you can like use two fingers and like tap the screen and it'll undo the effect so if you're having trouble just go ahead and quickly like undo that and then you can keep going but here i'm just gonna add like three little lines to kind of you know add more to the airbrush effect and then we're gonna do like a small glossion <laughs> what okay hold on it's got a glossion blur yeah you want to do the glossion blur okay so now we want to go ahead and we want to add like a halo 
so I like to choose yellow or gold and you want to go to light pen under luminance brushes and then right here I'm just gonna do a circle I didn't like how thin it was so I'm gonna go ahead and like undo that and then I'm gonna um, um the brush size up and then we're gonna do it again and then there you go and you know if you hold it down in procreate it'll automatically make like a perfect circle for you so that's how I get the halo done and that was like so quick and easy like I do that all the time but okay so now what am I doing okay now I'm gonna add another layer on top of my um white swooshes and then we're gonna pick a cheetah print or whatever print that you would like and then you're gonna place that over the whole thing and then you want to add that as a clipping mask to the white swooshes that we did I hope I'm making sense if I'm not comment below I can make another video like going like way slower but you kind of want to just leave it like that okay so then you want to do a top um, layer and then you want to choose one of the flares and then you want to go ahead and put like your little sparkles wherever you want I kind of like to do like three or four or five, not too much because too much will make it like look kind of like funny sometimes. <laughs> so you don't want to like overdo it, but yeah, just like a few is cute and like some cool places. And then I'm going to go ahead and merge the layer of the cheetah print with the white swooshes and I'm going to glossier blur that. And then you kind of want to just do it to your liking. It's more like if you want to see the print more or you kind of want it to just be there, but not like too much. I like to do like kind of in the middle like you can see it but I don't want it to be like too 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 much but y'all that's pretty much it for the airbrush like it's literally that easy like that took me like how many minutes like five minutes to do that and you can do it too now I'm just kind of like playing around but I'm gonna add like a pink background but you can do anything like literally it's so easy to do the airbrush designs on procreate comment below if you want me to do like a little bit more designs or other things you can do like airbrush style but thank you for watching and bye bye